Welcome to beautiful Roma BC and their urban threshing machine. This is an old uh, Maytag dryer that uh, was retired and now serves as a threshing machine. We'll go through a process here and show you how it works. Follow me. Tied these uh, grains into beautiful bundles for me, which makes cutting the heads off a lot easier, which is required because the uh, threshing machine can't handle the long straw that sometimes is as much as five feet long. So I'm just going to clip off these heads, toss them in the bucket, and they're ready for flushing. Now, in order to make this machine work, I had to make some small changes. The first thing I did is I got rid of the heater, which is unnecessary, and now I can run this uh, machine off uh, regular extension cord at 110 rather than 220. I also re reversed the airflow so that the what used to be the exit is now the intake, and vice versa. And I have a butterfly valve on the air and on the now air intake, so I can control my airflow. And this is the seed drain that is uh, in the air intake, and therefore as the grain flows against the incoming air, gets cleaned and gets rid of some of the chaff. There you go. Let's uh, take it about 25 minutes. Turn it on. Is that something? I need about 60 golf balls in there. We have a lot of golf clubs in our area, so those come in really handy. It's going to get a little bit noisy now. Again, 25 minutes.